have Basil on the line as well. Basil, how are you doing? I'm good. How are you, Jacob? I am doing quite well. Just taking a look at the uh, just the massacre in the market. How are you doing? I'm doing well. So uh, it's interesting you say massacre in the market. Uh, one of the things that we've got to be aware of right now is that it's unusual to have had the dollar rallying this high um, for quite some time. We've had it before, but it's been quite a while. Bond rates, the uh, interest rates, you're talking about them just a moment ago, and I'll talk about that in a moment, but they are really pushing exponentially higher in the short term. Over a period of time, some of us have been here before much, much higher prices, so it's nothing that I'm going to get too excited about. But there are a couple of things that are going on. One is the high that was made in the Dow uh, on the 1st of August at 35,679, <clears throat> that was helping the weekly and the monthly charts get closer and closer to the all-time high of 36,952 made back in January of 2020. And we've plummeted down to 28,660, and we've come back. So what happens in, in October, since September was really a pretty ugly month, what happens in October by the end of the month is going to be really important going into November, and I'll explain why. The, the pattern that we're looking at in the daily chart um, went to a sell. We were fortunate for subscribers to open a call. We shorted the Dow right at the top at, on the 1st of August, and we remained short. But one of the things that I'm looking at, we try, we're trying to, to grab a long position just for, as a trading position, but the core short, I haven't had any uh, desire at this particular time to, to switch that back to long. Meantime, uh, what we're looking at is there's a pattern that I've been discussing for some time, and that is where I use, I call it the indicator of last resort. It's where the nine uh, exponential moving average and the nine period and the 14 period exponential moving average cross positive or negative. And I'd waited and waited. We got a, buy, a sell signal on the Dow based on, on on balance volume and and, and the inversion of the uh, DOG to the diamonds. Uh, and that worked out fine. But I had to wait for a sell mode in the Dow uh, based on this nine period exponential moving average. But you can see in this chart here, this nine period moving average on the weekly chart has crossed negative, and that just tells me that we're accelerating to the downside. And if you look at the S&P up until yesterday, the cash S&P did not show an S, meaning the nine went under the 14, and it did that very briefly back in December to January of this past year, into January of this year. This is the first time it's done it, and you can see the distance between the price of the S&P is a closing price so on the Dow on the S&P, and you can see the 9 period. So it's just barely crossed, and you haven't got it yet on the QQQ. And the SMHs, that's the semiconductors, are still holding quite well. I should mention, though, just in terms of our record, we did short the S the semiconductors uh, two points off the all-time high. That was two days after the actual high was made. Here it is. So these, to me, are really key indicators because... You can see in this weekly chart of the SMHs, the Semiconductor Van Eck ETF, um, it's been underneath the inside track. It was a propellant zone, now it's a repellent zone. So this little mini channel right here says that it's bumping into a lot of resistance. And I always believe that where the semiconductors go, most of the time the general market goes. So I'm watching that very closely. But what I wanted to point out is if the weekly charts by Friday, this coming Friday, if the uh, SMHs, that's the semis, and the, uh, the S&P, and the QQQ, the NDX 100, if they close with the pink, with a nine period moving average under the 14 period moving average, wow, that's the first time that that's happened in a long time. Then we'll start to look at the monthly. So just to abbreviate the whole thing, we're looking at sell signals to sell modes in the daily charts, sell signal almost to sell mode in the weekly charts, but we haven't got there yet. So I'm watching this very closely. And then you were talking about the yields. So look at this. Here's the TBT. And as it, look, when I'm looking at the chart, it looks very overbought in the daily chart. Leg D in the Chapman Wave, leg D, you've got to be a little bit careful. The same thing, breakout down this cup formation in the weekly chart of the TBT, which is the ultra-short Lehman 20-year Treasury bond ETF. 
And look at the monthly chart, leg E. But wait a minute. I'm going to expand the chart. Here we are. We're going back to 2010. I'll squeeze it again. Look at this. I'll squeeze it. Oh, it doesn't. This one doesn't go back further. I don't know if the TYX does. So let me just see if the um, uh, TYX.X, if I've got that all notated. Yeah, the TYX goes back. You can see we're up here at 49. It's 4.93% on the 30 year. And if I squeeze this, I used to have it going back years, decades. Well, this is to 1995. 1995, we were up at 70. So you can see that we've been here before. It's the reaction of the market to the conditions. And I think that that's really the story. And the other story that we're looking at here is the home builders, the HGX. This is the Philadelphia HGX. There we go. HGX is the Philadelphia housing sector index. And look at this tumble it's taken from this double top. Let me just fix this up in the monthly chart. So 538 was the high in May of 2021, and 575 was the high uh, in going into August of this year. And now we're pulling back. So you can see, if you try to put it into perspective, we've had a spectacular move in the home builders. But so far, the monthly charts say, hey, this is just a, a, a digestive phase, but we've got to be cognizant of a lot of things that are going on here that hadn't gone on before. And I'll show you the same thing in the dollar. Look, the dollar is in leg E in the daily chart and leg B in the month in the weekly chart and the monthly chart had a high of 104 well, I should mention we are still long the dollar 114.78 September of 2022 and it came all the way down to this 200 period exponential moving average support level now it's running so a lot of this if you had to take them separately they'd be it would be fine. It's the whole thing. So we're putting together a bunch of things where the dollar is streaming to the upside. Gold has taken a huge punch. One of its deepest corrections it's had in a long time. Right. So it's the unusual situation. But if you took them separately, we've seen moves like this in each separate sector before. So I'm saying be cautious. You're going to get really good buying opportunities very soon. Make your list, get it ready, and you can even <laughs> tiptoe into that just a little bit at a time, but that has to be your plan. You don't want to be adding to a losing position. What you want is to be able to ha plan your positions, but I do think that we're getting ready for some decent bounce, but in the meantime, you've got to be very careful. Cash is, at this point, king. Absolutely, absolutely. You know, I'll say in the dollar, too, one of the things I, I think has been hard with it, at least on my end, is it you keep and this is the way that I'm perceiving it, you keep getting these like fake outs a little bit where we'll pull down, you know, and this is on a two week chart, and then come right back up, we'll stabilize out, and then pull down again. It's kind of these weird fake outs to where it just goes right up. And I'm I'm having a hard time but, playing around that, I think. But if you let, have any let me just show you something. Uh, look, when you're looking at the overall monthly chart, look, it's just got these swings. This is just another swing, another digestive phase. See, I, as I said, I think it's putting the package together. That's what's unusual. But it's separately, we've had, look, there's nothing unusual in the dollars action so far. Big, a big rally, then it pulls back. Awesome. So, uh, yeah. Well, Basil, thank you so much. Folks, stay tuned. We will be right back.